I got a trout on. Yep. Good nice. little rainbow. Nice trout. Good. <gasps> no. I'm Pete Bennett. What's up guys? So here we are on the spot and if you can't guess where we're at we're at the uh, yeah it's a wharf. This is the wharf that goes to uh, to PEI from New Brunswick to PEI and uh, we got the rods. I got my rod set up and if you guys can't tell just as got his rod set up and uh, today we're gonna be doing a catch and cook or catch and eat wherever but whatever we catch we're eating it so we're gonna go get set up and I'll uh, I'll right. see you there Jaylee got like a really heavy a heavy uh, minnow look at the arc on that that's a lot of friggin' arc. The guy at friggin' Pro Bass sold him a heavy ass weight. But yeah, there's like no trespassing and all that kind of stuff. We're just here to get some mackerel. All right, so we're at the spot. We're here by the, uh, the lighthouse. And there's water, it's crashing down real hard. And if you guys look over there, that's the uh, PEI bridge that goes from New Brunswick to PEI. Now, Jay's probably gonna be catching that seaweed and stuff, so we're gonna be over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna fish on the left side where the water's nice and rough, and uh, see if we get some see if we get some mackerel. I'm gonna uh, uh oh, he's getting talked to right now. They don't want him fishing over there or something. So we might be in trouble. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna get some casts out though. There's a lot of trash and a lot of everything. It's it's good. So I want to catch a lot of mackerel. A lot. Are you getting anything, Jay? Really? Like what happens? Like for fishing on here? Okay. Yeah, and it's free. Yeah. But is the fishing worse over there? Yeah. Okay. But, uh, Jeez. Okay. No, that's awesome. So you must come here like a lot and see like that happen, or? Yeah. I just told it a couple of guys up there, and we got threatened. So. Wow. All right. Yeah. Wow. He said, okay. You know, he said, I had a swim and I said, no, I said, you better walk away or put in. Jeez. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just stay here for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and I no mean, they're, they're going to get other people into trouble before they get to us, and then we'll just pack up, and I yeah. guess we'll take that as our warning. Yeah, that's no problem. Jeez. Yeah. All right, guys. So, I'm leaving right now because the police just showed up, and they said... If you don't leave, we're taking your fishing rod and giving you a fine, or you can leave now. So, I've decided to uh, leave and try a different spot, but this catch and cook doesn't look like it's, do it's going very good. But believe me, before the day's over, we'll have fish to catch and cook. All right, guys. So we went to a, a a brook, I guess. Come on, to you know, finish off the nice day, and I uh, got one. But uh, this little guy here, he's not big enough to uh, catch and cook. So I'm gonna throw him back, try and get something bigger. But if I throw him back and don't get anything else, I'm gonna be mighty sad. I'm gonna get my uh, fish handle in here just as to take it off for me because I'm scared of I'm scared to touch fish. Yep, yeah. that's what happens, and then we just put them back in. Live another day, buddy. 
Oh shoot, Jay, I think it's stuck on your backpack. All right, I'm gonna get it off. There. Yeah, I just, I just caught another one, and uh, this guy looks like he's not able to be eaten too. So I'm simply just gonna have to uh, take them off and uh, see if we can get something bigger, I guess. Jeez, but these all look like small trouties. Shouldn't be small this time of year because it's rearing almost winter time. And Jay's getting stuck in trees and shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. Justin just got a fish on. Fish, nope. That's a good size one. Oh, Is that good enough? To, oh wow, put the worm right up the line. Yeah, he didn't even. What do you think? He, I think. I think he's too small and he's got to go back in. <laughs> All right. He'll live to fish another day, I guess, guys. Jeez. We're just trying to get this catch and cook, but it seems like it's it's a little bit harder than, than we think. And that was that. That was that. All right, guys, so we camped out all night, still wearing the same clothes, and we're at a new spot to try and get that catch and cook. And Jay just got a fish on right now. That's a good one. Yep, that's going to be a good one for catch and cook. But this is like an unfished area, which is good. AKA a nice honey hole where we're out of we're out of civilization from anywhere else. We got the bucket. We got everything. We're ready. Fish on, buddy. Fish on. Whoa, don't fall. Jeez, we can see it from here. Nice. Oh man. That's a nice big size trout. Wow. Yeah, that's a good, is that a rainbow? Rainbow. Jeez. That's a friggin' nice size one. They're all over by this tree. I've just, I'm at the honey hole. I got a trout on. Yeah. Good nice. little rainbow. Nice trout. Good. <gasps> no. Man, Get them. I just lost a big effing trout. Jay's gonna get in here with There's his. So many. Yeah, if you guys look, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but look at that. That's all big trout, and we're under the under the tree. This is a honey hole. No one will ever find. We don't even have hip waders in. No, oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going in like bare feet. Oh, no hip waders, guys. Yeah, throw, yeah, but we're going to try and get some more fish. That's what's up. Jay lights over there. Off camera, because I don't have like a body camera or anything. I caught one, and I walked it over here. So that... Right here. Here's a fish. I walked it over to here, so that uh, I wouldn't lose it again. So I'm not sure what it is. I know it's not trout, but uh, we'll do the catch and cook with it, whatever it is. So that's that. Gonna try and get some more fish. Uh, I think a hook might be the problem, but. Jay's over there having a good time. He put his shoes back on because his pant legs were getting wet. We're burning a little bit of daylight, but that's the best time to uh, eat uh, the food that you catch. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in the bucket. Boy, yeah, we've been getting stuck on this tree a lot, but that's where the fish is. I'm gonna show you guys the fish. 
if there if you can see any no there's no fish over here that's pretty much like a nice little bank and you can fish off of but i'm walking in the water overall out of all the fishing spots this is probably one of the best fishing spots in all of canada Perfect. Perfect. so i'm going to show you about a fish it's kind of weird though because it's so quiet but i'm going to show you guys the fish Look at all those fish. But the thing is, and I, there's my bait, right? I got the worm and the hook. And uh, let me just show you how like, how much these fish don't want to eat. Look at this, I got my worm in the school of them. And the only thing I'm getting is minnows. So, so yeah, we're gonna make it. Up. We're gonna try and uh, start packing things up so we can uh, start cooking because it was it was quite the hike down here. We're losing daylight and uh, there's no trail to get in here. So we're gonna be taking a little while trying to get ourselves back up to the car. Coyotes. If the coyotes don't get us, we gotta make it out before uh, it's dark out. Yep. And one thing for this area, oh look, the power bait don't work in this area. They like little uh, insects. Yeah. That's just insects. Yep. And I and I just as I put the camera away, I got another one. I'm gonna walk them over because. You guys remember what happened last time. I lost him. But this guy seems like he's hooked pretty dang good. Still gonna walk him over and uh whoop! There we go. I'm gonna put him up way up high there because yeah. And if you guys know like what kind of fish this is, because it's not trout. It's like uh hmm. I don't know. They say it's chub. So, I don't know, but don't want to lose them. So far, we got four in a bucket. That's a great way to end a day, guys. It's time now that we cut and clean the fish. Wherever you call them. Head off, just a straight cut. Our cut like that. Oh, we don't, we're not gonna litter. We are uh, straight down the belly button. This knife's not like the best knife. It's very sharp though, right? I think it's actually missing the tip. Well, so this is not the best fillet knife. So I gotta go right down to the pee, the pee hole right there. Come on, there we go. Perfect. I want to get all that garbage out of there. One of Pete's little, uh, little buddies right here. We'll just set him aside. We want to make it one clean cut, right? So down the middle. Good. 
good. Alright, here's the big boys. We're getting got lucky today. Got this big trout. It's a nice size trout. Right to the pea shooter, you know. Let's take out the, the guts. This one was real healthy. It's a good looking fish. Guys, if you ever want to see what a good looking fish looks like? It's good. Next time, if, if there is a next time, we'll be uh, bringing a better knife. Nice piece of fish right here. And last but not least, we got another little guy. Another little trout we caught. Here we go. It's a good day. Man, this is our first time fishing this spot. This, this guy's so slippery. I'm trying not to cut myself. He's just a little fella. Still. He was six inches, you know. That's the law. We're allowed to keep him. Yeah. Man. What we got? We got loads of nice fish. Whew. So now. We're going to go have a. We're going to cook them up. Yeah, hey, let's get back to the car and cook these beasts. All right, it's going to be a hike up there, but. Yeah, we got to go pretty much all the way to the top of those mountains next time we might go fishing down there not 100 percent sure because up there might be fished out so i'm gonna get cleaned up and uh, we're gonna start walking we're walking back this is this is how you walk to fishing spots you don't go where everybody's fishing alongside of the road you go way out in the woods where we almost got lost <laughs> like we almost got lost and it would have been scary because we'd have to camp overnight here and there's it's wildlife here coyotes bears yeah we, we just saw some coyote shit bear shit yeah deers so we got a long long little hike and this is like a trail that nobody goes on. Like, you can see it's all grown up and stuff, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Jay thought he saw a bear, but we're we're getting a little bit further back to civilization because we see his car up ahead. I think it's yeah, it's his car. So and my I got service again, which is good because you know that you're you're a little bit closer. So we're ready now, and this is like a really good like dumping spot for for shingles, I guess for some people. Friggin, they probably dumped a whole house here once upon a time. Jeez, ridiculous. Oh. Trying to get the fire going, you know? So we're spraying Lysol and stuff on the food we're gonna eat and we got our, <laughs> we got our tray and stuff, so that's good. All right, we gotta get some more. more uh, yeah, it's not. It's not staying lit, guys. It's not lighting as good as we want it to be lit, but. This thing's a little damp out here. Oh yeah. A lot better. It's looking really good. So right now we got this thing going, roaring, blazing, and uh we're gonna let the coals get down so we can put our fish on and uh cook her up. So yeah, it's like it's getting a little low. This is definitely the type of fire you want to like start cooking on. And we got our little we got our grate here from uh, putting the fish on now. Perfect. So this is like, this is the trout. Oh. That's the other trout. Here's 
Chub. This is, I guess it's Chub. Or I don't know what we call it's it. It's a mystery fish. Cause we don't, we don't know what it is. It's hot, man. Woo! Yep. Maybe you guys are wondering why, like, it's a different, like, picture. My camera died. And I'm, shoot I'm shooting on my phone, and I hope it actually works, because, yeah. Oh, like no, it's good quality. It's just I hope it uploads good. But these fish are going to, like, they're going to look real good. Yeah. I don't got nothing to really, so I got a stick, maybe. Yeah, we lemon. didn't even bring lemon, but we don't need lemon. We we're eating it the way it's supposed to be eaten, like, like your ancestors, <laughs> which is, like, on on the grill, fresh. With our hands. We're with our hands today. Yep. No, no utensils. It'll be good. It'll be real good. So we flip these, and they're cooking really good. Like, really freaking good. Real quick. What do you think, Jay? Chris, we gotta cook them good, you know. Yeah, because we were looking at like other fish that were down there. They had like white spots and stuff on them and. No, they didn't, man. They were good fish down there. Last time we were fishing, though, yeah. like, we, we got stopped by the park ranger, and the park ranger said, warned us, yeah. warned us and said, yeah, Woo. we'd like to know if you, you, we'd like you to report any fish that have, like, a white, white film or spot on them. Yeah. And... Yeah. Oh man, yours is already cooked. Justin wants his to be like fish jerky. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. But what do you? I don't it'll know. be. Could, it'll be good. I could be this could really be good. good. It's just because it's like a a thinner fish, oh. I think. Yeah, that one's cooked already, though. Well, we need. Next time we're gonna have to bring tongs, oh. or we're gonna have You're to wrap. Burning my hands here. We're gonna have to wrap these beasts up in uh, tin foil next time, so we don't like. Hmm. lose any of the meat but I'm geez. hungry though it's been a long day it's been a long fishing day long food it's gonna be so good can't wait really freaking good Whew. yeah so we're just lifting up we put some st sticks on this bucket cause uh cause we don't want to melt our bucket so we just use that as like a a little bit of leeway we're gonna let this fish cook nice and cool burn some knuckle hair there Right, Check that fish out. That's like nice fish jerky. What do you think is you think it's gonna taste like grandma's? Oh can't get no fresher than this. Yep. And we even made it so like the coals are pretty much done, so we brought water to put it out. Yeah. Yeah, we brought the most best Culligan water, Nivea. So we're all, we always we always make sure we put out all of our fires because you don't want to catch a forest fire. I got some more water. That should be good though. Yeah. We don't want to waste water. Man, it's gonna be so good. So good. Should just come right out. Like this. Should go easier than this, but there you go. Got the bone. On the fish. How good is it? A1 bit. That's good. You want to try some? Mm. Wow, that's fresh. This is some good. This is some good fish, man. Yeah, really good. Really good trout. Wow. This is mm. the chicken of the lake or river. I don't know what it is, but even the skin's good. It's like, really good. Yeah. 
But yeah, guys, we're gonna enjoy this trout, chub, and everything else. All right, so not to the next one, Big Bennett. Yep. Next time we go, we'll do something else. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.